Hi, my name is Subi and this is my YouTube series where I upload videos of fun memories in my life from the past and from the present. Life is very unpredictable and confusing at times, but full of amazing experiences and opportunities to make beautiful memories. This series follows that same concept, so stick around to see how life goes. Every year in Korea, they have a Teacher's Day, which is basically like Mother's Day or Father's Day, but for teachers. And I was lucky enough to experience the festivities that happen on Teacher's Day. So here are some of the students performing a traditional Korean fan dance. And then also we were able to go out and have a very yummy meal, um, courtesy of the parents of the students. This was literally my first time trying Shabu Shabu and I've been craving it ever since, but I've never been able to find it in London. And I think my favourite part about it is once you finish the stew, they bring some rice and they fry it on and you can eat all the rice. And then after the rice goes like hard at the bottom, you scrape it off and then you get to eat the like crunchy rice. And oh, it was so good. It was so good. But yeah, that was Teacher's Day and it was very sweet and I was glad to be a part of it. On one of the sunnier days, my friend Lena was asked to help film this promotional video in the Jeonju traditional village, um, and I went along to be the staff. <laughs> and on a completely other day, we went and watched this football game, which was actually really fun. I think I've only ever been to like a couple football games in my life, so this was really cool. We went with all the students, um, so it was kind of like a school trip to a football game, which, I mean, that's a pretty fun idea for a school trip, right? We got to see all the players come out and like we sat and watched the full game and to be honest i don't actually remember who won it was either like one all or like maybe our team lost i don't remember but either way it was a really fun time as it came to my last few sundays as missionary me and my uh, friends were asked to sing uh, a song in the church but uh it was uh, we were just singing amazing grace and the only thing that was really funny about it was that at one point i think my friend Ashika, she just kind of messed up the lines and then we all started laughing basically. We thought we looked like a boy band, so after the singing, we took some photos. When they look at each other and they're like, <laughs> hey, come on, look at me. Hey. Oh, no one looked at you. <laughs> See, look at me. <laughs> Am I the one that leaves the group because they're being bullied? <laughs> I think this was now my last weekend in Jeonju um, and one of the teachers was really kind and she and her husband took us out for a really yummy dinner and some oh yeah some bingsu as well which was great so we went and took photos and just you know had a great time on my last day of teaching English class I wrote the students a letter um, and obviously it was in English but they decided to read it um, and translate it into Korean and apparently sign language <laughs> <laughs> and on the day before my flight back to London, I went to pick some strawberries, which was a really cool experience. I mean, it was kind of scary because there were like bugs and there were loads of bugs. And we were out there for a long time, but it was a fun memory. And then on my last day, I went round, saw a few of the students and said goodbye to everyone. And I headed back onto my coach to the airport and then all the way back to England and yeah I mean Korea was a great time I learned a lot and I was glad to meet the people that I got to meet and hopefully I get to go back there sometime soon but until then subscribe subscribe subscribe
please. Please.